The New York Jets, they will look to end a five-game losing streak on Sunday when they host the Texans. And Zach Wilson, he's back under center for Gang Green. So let's break down this Week 14 matchup with the great New York Jets beat reporter for the New York Post. My guy Brian Costello joins me now. Brian, how are you doing? I'm good, Dexter. How are you? I'm doing well. Brian, we're going to get right into this. We're going to start with the Jets quarterback carousel. It is always changing. There was a lot going on this week with initial reports that the Jets would make a change at QB, but that Wilson had some hesitation about starting again, only to eventually be named the starter later in the week. What did you make of this latest Jets QB saga, and is it the right move to go back to Wilson as QB1? Yeah, I think they had to, Dexter. Uh, you know, a few weeks ago, we were sitting here saying hey, they should try something, go to a different quarterback. Can it be worse? Uh, yeah, it was worse with Tim Boyle. And, you know, we saw a little bit of Trevor Simeon in the Falcons game. But clearly, Zach Wilson is the most talented, healthy quarterback on the roster. And that's who should be playing. You know, not that he played well before he was benched. But the, the Jets have to try to go back to him. Maybe he can make something happen with his legs. Uh, maybe he can actually hit an open receiver, which is something we haven't seen in a while. So I, I, I get why they went back to Zach. And I think, um, you know, the, the Tim Boyle experiment was just that. It was an experiment to see if you get the offense going. But the belief has always been that Zach Wilson is probably their better, better quarterback. And we will see. A lot of maybes there, Brian. A lot of maybes around Zach Wilson that you said there. But now we look at this matchup this week. It's of teams that you could say are going in opposite directions. The Texans, they're looking to make a playoff run at 7-5, and five, while the Jets, they're trying to figure things out on offense at 4-8. and eight. There were not much high expectations for the Texans with a rookie quarterback this season. So in your eyes, what's the difference between these two teams right now? What they did with the number two pick <laughs> is the difference, Dexter, right? I mean, they're very similar. Uh, the, the Jets coming off of the terrible season in 2020 hired the defensive coordinator, the 49ers, to take over, and they had the number two pick in the draft, and they took Zach Wilson, and we know how that's worked out. The Texans coming off of a terrible 2022 season went out and hired the 49ers defensive coordinator, D'Amico Ryans, who had replaced Robert Sala in San Francisco, and they had the number two pick, and they drafted C.J. Stroud, who is going to break – the rookie passing yardage record, it looks like. He leads the whole NFL in passing yards right now. Uh, he's been phenomenal. 20 touchdowns, five interceptions. And it just shows you how important that quarterback position is because the Texans, well, they, they have some good players in other positions, just like the Jets do, but they've turned it around quickly because they got it right at quarterback, Dexter, and that, that's, that's the difference between these teams. That is the difference. That is the key in the NFL. Got to get it right at QB. Jets still searching for that. Last thing for me, Brian, you know what time it is. What is, are your keys to the Jets getting a win on Sunday and ending a five-game losing streak? All right, I'm going to go way deep into my football knowledge, give you some X's and O's here, Dexter. The Jets need to score touchdowns. Oh. That's the key. That's it. Can they score touchdowns? That's that's it. Can they score touchdowns? It's, everything else is stupid to talk about. Dexter, this team can't score touchdowns. You can't win if you don't get in the end zone. they got to find a way to get in the end zone, whether it's offense, whether it's defense, whether it's special teams, score some damn touchdowns, and maybe you'll win a game. You know what? Here's what I like this week. We didn't even need keys. It's just one <laughs> thing. Can you get in the end zone? The problem is... Brian Costello, who's been at all these games, hasn't seen it. He hasn't seen it happen in a while. He needs to see more of that. It's just one key. I mean, the five-game losing streak, there's been two touchdowns, I think. Right. If I'm mistaken, right? One against the Bills, one against the Dolphins. They're offensive touchdowns. But Chargers, no touchdowns. Raiders, no touchdowns. Falcons, no touchdowns. I mean, it's like there's been a lot of bad offenses with the Jets, Dexter. We've never seen anything quite this bad. We never have seen it quite this bad. You wrote about that this week. And you will write some more, but hopefully I get, I'm hoping for you, Brian, that you get to write about some touchdowns this Sunday. That's what I'm hoping for you. That's God bless saying. these. God bless anyone who's going to this game, right? <laughs> it's going to be raining and 60 mile an hour winds. It's, the weather's going to be terrible, Dexter. And Jets can't score. I don't know, are there Texans fans out there? I don't even know. Do Texan fans exist? So uh, I think the Melee Stadium could be empty. All right. But you got Brian's key to the game. Score some touchdowns. That's all it is. <laughs> Jets will host the Texans this Sunday in Week 14. Brian Costello will have the great coverage amidst the bad weather that should be there at MetLife Stadium. Brian, as always, thank you for the insight. We will talk soon. All right, Dex.